blah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jadobi 3D. It's your boy, Dekel. Now, today, what we're going to do, we're going to um, reinstall um, Clipper on our Raspberry Pi. Um, I have no clue. Let me turn this music down. So. I have no clue what happened to my Raspberry Pi on my Cobra Max when I, I moved it to the workshop in order to work on it and put the linear rails on it. But for some strange reason, it um it just uh like scrambled the Python coding in there and um wouldn't come on and wouldn't register. I when I tried to go online and look up the um the IP address, it, it just wasn't showing up. Um, when I went to turn on the actual Raspberry Pi, uh, it was just frozen, stuck on like the terminal screen. So we'll take a look at that today. We'll, um, well, tonight we'll load, uh, ras our we'll get our Raspberry Pi set back up. Um, we'll start that right now. And then we'll load um, Clipper onto the Raspberry Pi through and we'll use putty on our computer. So just, you know, for warning, just this computer is a little older, so it might take some time to do certain things, but let's switch to it now. If it's on, I don't believe it's even connected. I go back. There we go. So right now this is the uh raspberry pi imager we're going to use this to flash the um operating system onto our um micro sd and that's what we're going to put into the raspberry pi and that's actually what it runs off of like as far as the um the operating system so what i'm gonna do now let me turn on this on air i have my uh let me see Put this one here. I gotta record this. I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> right, we'll start recording this video. Okay, so what we have now is our SD card. I have a 32 gigabyte SD card, and I'm going to use the uh, SD card adapter. The micro, it's the micro SD card. I'm using the SD card adapter in order to put it in here. So what you guys see on the screen now is the Raspberry Pi imager. You can go into, and I'll re-edit the description of this video so you can see it actually where to go. So it's right here, it said um, Raspberry Pi, um, raspberrypi.com. Just go here until we'll go to the, the welcome page, the Raspberry Pi page. <clears throat> So you just go here once it comes here to Raspberry Pi, you go to software, scroll down, you see the imager, we're downloading for Windows. If you have a Mac, they have it here. So from there, I actually, you know, I downloaded it and installed it already. So here it is right here. So what we're gonna do is, you wanna format your, um, your SD card to a, a FAT, a 32 FAT, or FAT32. Um, and, uh, that'll make it compatible I guess with all computers so I'm gonna put this you guys can't see but I'm gonna put my micro SD into the computer it's locked in it says format this but we'll, I guess let me see please insert this so we're gonna format this all right so the capacity is not five gigs but okay um allocation units uh, default let's see it says 32 so it's fat but we're gonna um format the disk to the fat 32 that's what I told you you should format it to anyway glad this popped up it's just me first putting the disk in saying format will um Erase. I'm, I'm gonna cancel because I want to name it. I'm going to name this Cobra Max 3. All right, so I'm gonna start. Okay, format's complete. You see, some. 
says five gigs I know this is in a five gig SD card let's reformat this thing so I right clicked on that format so, mm, ex fat see what that does 32 kilobytes uh, Why is this only giving me, um, I know it's a 32. It's 32 gigs on this thing. Um, I don't know why it's only giving me um, basically five gigs out of it. If someone else knows, please let me know. I don't even have a way to see you guys' comments. So after this, hopefully, it gives me 32. Because I know you need a certain amount, because once you start uploading, um, Python, Clipper, and all that stuff, and then you gotta um, install main cell, and once you do that, it won't be enough with just five gigs on it. So right now, I'm hoping it gives me everything. If not, I have another one I'll go grab. Oh, oh. Like I always say, I'm, I make these beats, so I listen to them now. When I'm when I'm in the process of making the beats, I, I come up with raps in my head. So right now I'm just listening to this beat and I'm just freestyling in my head. I don't know if I start freestyling for you guys. Uh, about the 3D print, and it still gave me five. While I'm on here going live, about to go grab the 32. So please don't snooze. I'm about to run off, I'll be right back. So you might want to go grab a snack. You guys might see me crawl. about that let me eject this one hmm. all right we're ejecting this now I'm gonna have to reformat I think I formatted that on a Mac and that's what actually let's see this one see this one gave me the total amount and it went straight through so all right this one we won't have to format because once we once we put the operating system on there um from raspberry pi it's going to delete the memory card it's going to reformat it itself and do everything that it has to do so down here and we'll choose the device we got a raspberry pi 4b model that's what we're using um, I already, like I said, I, I have it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I might move the camera a little bit for you. You can't see it back, but back here it's already, I had it with Clipper screen, it's already on here. Some weird stuff happened with the formatting. So, um, that's the reason why. I don't know if I move that crazy. 
all right so that's the reason why it, it did whatever it did so all right so let me take this off real quick we're gonna look straight we're gonna focus straight on the screen so we pick the raspberry pi model b we're gonna choose the default operating system which is the raspberry pi operating system 64 bit it's the um debian bookworm uh, this one is the recommended so we got we're going to use 1.1 gigs for this we are going to choose our storage which is the sd card that's in there now all right we're going to go to next we're going to edit some settings all right so i named that cobra max we're going to set the host name uh we're going to change all of this stuff to that's already the way we want it. All right, so. Username. That's not the username we want though. All right, so the name of this is going to be, I'm gonna name it Cobra Max. I put three, but I'm gonna put four just to make sure I didn't do that. The username is going to be pi. We'll set a password for this. I, I do not want to show you guys my password. And it's not going to allow me to do it without that. So what I'm going to do is you guys are going to see my lovely face again. All right, so let me put the password in here. Show password. Let's see what this is. And an SSD gig. It's not pulling nothing up, but we'll use that. Use uh, and show password. Nope. I'm doing a password for my Wi-Fi right now, you know, so that's the reason you're still seeing my face. All right, so that should be it. That should be good. All right, so let's switch back to the screen. Where were we? All right, so this is how we're going to set it up. This would be, um, that'll be the local device name, the host name. Um, the username and password um, this is this will be your Wi-Fi section this will be a password for the Wi-Fi section um, and that's all you really need to change right there let's, let's take a look at anything else we're gonna enable we're gonna enable that with the password so you can um, so you can actually SSH into it from a terminal. We'll be using PuTTY. All right, so this is cool, that's cool. And you'll have to put the password in. It'll be this password that you created right there. So we'll save that. All right, it's saying, would you like to apply operating system customization settings? And we're gonna say yes. Right, so all the existing data on your SD card, it'll be erased and it's gonna replace it with the operating system for the Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna hit yes. So it's doing this thing now. All right. So we're doing this live. I'm probably gonna take, that's why I started recording this. I'm probably gonna take this video and do a, um, like a setup tutorial, you know, scripting and everything like that. So that whoever wants to go and check out how to do this can. It's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do it, but we'll take the usual decal, Jadobi 3D, easy step, bum, 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 get it done, you know? So that's the way we'll do our thing. Uh, man. Wish it was a way that I could see you guys live. This is actually taking a while.
and I, I'm believing it's because of this computer's processor. Uh, this is an older computer, Windows computer that I have. Um, when I do a lot of my stuff, I do it from um, a Mac, or I use I have a um, design PC, a designing PC that takes care of this stuff at a pretty high rate. So I gotta actually probably put this back on, put this right here back on the um, Mac and make it a universal um, FAT32 file. So that way it can, it can read the majority of, um, it can be put into the majority of the computers and still have its, um, it's 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 size. It's 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 memory size. So right now it's just um, it was formatted on the Mac. So once you put it in a PC, it it kind of just only gave me six gigs. So we'll take care of that. You know. Let's see what else. This is going to take a while right now. It's only on five percent, but it's moving a bit faster now. It, it stayed there for a second. So we don't have this hooked up yet, so I can show you guys my actual setup with this. Oh, you guys got the wrong camera. <laughs> All right, so this right here is my actual screen. I had clipper screen put on this, so this is a touch screen. Um, you can get these off of Amazon. Um, I believe I got this off of Amazon and not um, Timo or something like that. Not team. What's the other? Oh man. Right, hold on, let me go live for a second. I gotta cut off for a second. Right, those those 